building here. Mm -hmm. It's very special to country music. This stage is country yeah. music's most famous stage. We're here seated around the yeah. circle of wood that came from the stage of the Ryman Auditorium. It's a whole different ball game from when you're in here with the Charlie Daniels band and these people are standing up, giving yeah. you standing ovations. <laughs> it's it's a little different, a little quieter, isn't well, it? Oh yeah. Well, I was just <laughs> looking at a cross here. You know, it's it's. Uh, it's totally different. It's uh, you know you don't realize that there, there's a bunch of seats way up yonder that you don't see so much when you're you're sitting down here. But I've had some of the greatest times in this building, and I had the honor of standing on this piece of wood here in both buildings at the Ryman in here. And it's uh, uh, you know to be doing this, to be sitting here around this historical, probably the most historical piece of wood in the country, certainly the most historical one in country music, and doing an interview in the Opera House is. Uh, stuff dreams are made out of, as they say, because I, the Grand Ole Opry has been part of my life for so long, uh, as long as I can remember. You became a member in 2008. Uh, yeah. What was that like to be invited to well, be it part was, of the family? Well, it was almost uh, surreal. It was almost like a dream. Uh, we had played the opera. They've always been very kind about letting us play the opera. If we're going to have a Saturday night off and, you know, we wanted to play, we'd call and say, well, come on out. And we did it so many times. And, but I, you know, I was getting to the point, I thought, well, maybe the membership part will never happen. And the reason that was important is because this has been such a big part of my life for so long. I've had such great respect and admiration for the Opry and the people on it. And to think about my name being included in the many, many, every name actually that has actually been something like a cornerstone in country music, the, Ernest Tubbs, the Eddie Arnolds, the Roy Acuffs, the Hank Williams, the people of, to, to be included in the same company as that was something very special to me. It's something I take very much to heart. And I told the people, and of course it happened at the Ryman, it was during the time of the year when we were, were doing the opera at the Ryman, and I told the people that night, the Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart. You just saw one of those come true tonight, and that's how it felt. It was such a tremendous blessing to me. Uh, one of, you hear about people, the bucket list, something they want to do for it. That was probably number one on my bucket list. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, being a part of the Opry, you talk about it being a blessing for you. It's been a blessing for those who are connected with the Opry because uh, you, you belonged in this family for a long time. You've been a part of it unofficially, I but felt, officially. <laughs> yeah, I felt a part of it. I used to, I used to come out here and, and back in dressing room number one there, Roy Cup, his dressing room. I used to come and sit and just and, and talk to him and just listen to him and I'd kind of prime the pump a little bit. Well, Mr. Acuff, what happened when, you know, and he started talking about when he used to go to, you know, out to California to make the movies and about all the things that happened and they'd drive out there and about things Uncle Dave making had him take a country ham in a box one time all the way. I'm sure you heard the story. It was funny about when they got to the fruit inspection in California that <laughs> this thing kind of threw the inspectors for a loop. They'd never seen a country ham, I don't guess. They picked it up and was smelling it and everything. And then when they got ready to come back, the, the ham was gone, but the box was still empty. And this is about as country a statement as I can think of. Uncle Dave asked Roy to bring the box back so he could set a hen in it. So he brought it back and went through the whole shooting match on the way back. <laughs> <laughs>